Welcome to another session of this full Demux tutorial that's for beginners to an advanced. Yes, um, if you haven't watched the previous sections of this course, I urge you to do so. The link is below. There's a playlist link below in the description. And also, you can also click on the link above this video. It's going to take you to the playlist so you can have access to all other sections and besides you should also subscribe and hit the notification bell more sections will be uploaded soon so you can have access to them so let's dive in hello everyone and welcome to the class so today uh, we're gonna learn how we can upload our files to a web hosting platform so we are using triple host I mean triple web host so sorry triple zero web host <laughs> yeah so triple zero web host provides us a free hosting that comes with an impressive set of features like an easy to use website builder it supports uh, WordPress with zero ads on your site okay so it is kind of a free web hosting platform so we can try this so let's begin simply click, click on the free uh, web hosting triple zero web host.com and uh, go to the free sign up enter your email and password I am using any random uh, email and password So this is not my email ID, okay? So I got this from temp uh, temporary email because I'm not using any my personal Gmail account. So you can also use temp temporary email accounts or you can use your own. That's not a big problem, okay? So first you need to verify one email will be there inside your email ID. So you need to verify it. So once you are verified, so triple zero web host will be easily accessible. So once uh, you are inside, you will see many options available. So simply, you want to type, uh, select others, give website name. Uh, I'm giving Media World One Two Three, or simply Media World. You can give any project name. So if it is uh, available for you, you will see it is available, or else you need to change the name. So yeah give any password so as you can see uh, okay another website with the same name already exists so I need to change my uh, project name so media world 123 I guess there is no media world 123 yeah successfully built so next we need to upload your site or just change it to desktop uh, site it would be more easy for you at times you may you know logged out from this so just simply log in once again so once you are logged in you'll see this kind of an interface so your website is there simply create manage I mean simply uh, click the manage uh, website then upload so now you are gonna see file manager so we have public underscore html and tmt so inside public so yeah inside public underscore html we have ht access so we just need to delete it we don't need this file just press and delete next we need to upload our index.html and uh, my word i mean what's that php we made just forgetting the name i am my work.php yeah so you can see I'm inside uh, my mediafire.com. So yeah, index.html is updated. Next is mywork.php. Similarly, in the same folder, S select files, upload. 
mywork.php so now both the files are uploaded in public underscore html so we'll uh, come back two times once again we'll check we'll refresh uh, this yeah we have once again we'll refresh it and then again we'll go to file manager or upload we can say and just verify it whether inside our public html we have index.html and mywork.php yes we have so next back and again back two times back we'll see our website media123 we'll just need to copy that file I mean copy that URL or simply we can click that URL we can see we have uh, our media file working perfectly so if this link we copy and send it to some uh, our some of our victim and if he or she tries to log in as we can see like abcdfgh.gmail.com and providing any password now this link is publicly available to everybody you can send this to any victim and once he or she tries to log in we can just simply go to our website inside our file manager or upload now we'll see passport.txt file generated open public underscore html and yeah you can see parts pass pass sorry password.txt is generated so try to open it and as you can see login email is abcdefgh at the rate gmail.com and login password is 12345678 what the victim has entered so now this link is publicly available right so anybody who clicks this link and tries to access it his username and password is to I mean his, his username and password is with the attacker now so make sure also you can see the link it is coming at the end like triple zero webhost.com so you can also use short to or you can just shorten the uh, link URL so that the victim gets confused and I mean your link sh should not be suspicious like you know if you or she feels like there is something inside it so he or she won't be clicking so what the attacker do they change the link I mean they shorten up the link they they change they I mean they purely shorten up the link and they send it to the victim so make sure you do not click in any random links coming up to your email to your whatsapp or anywhere this is just purely for educational purpose once again I am saying this I have been telling this for a long time because I don't want anybody to do any illegal activities it is only for educational purpose and making people aware because uh, many frauds are happening nowadays so make sure you are secure I mean you do not share your password with anybody just by clicking this link so this is simply how you can uh, make uh, you know mirror of any website so we tried with Mediafire you can also get some link of facebook login even uh, instagram login or similar way similar way like the way we tried to copy uh, mediafire similar way we can copy facebook instagram pinterest twitter anything linkedin also you can also get some bank uh, login password so make sure you do not click any link which is coming in your sms or anywhere do not you know until and unless it is a valid uh, you know you, you just check the URL if it is valid like if it is coming from Facebook sh so it should be like HTTPS Facebook.com not HTTPS or HTTP BTLY or triple zero web host.com or something else make sure you check the URL hundred times not hundred times just you know <laughs> I mean just uh, with your uh, all eyes and uh, your all eyes open just try to check whether it's a phishing URL coming or it's a legit Facebook Instagram or any bank com bank web bank link coming so this is how a phishing page works any kind of a website can be mirrored with HT track and this kind of a phishing page can be done next how attacker makes it more uh, undetectable 
is like by creating an app so in next video we'll see how we can create this the app for this url thank you so much